Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today is part two of our little spring challenge where my subscribers have sent me a, uh, a bunch of no-control surface craft and now they are battling it out to see who is the best. Last time we trimmed the field down from 12 to 4. Uh, in the background you can see a fight between one of my favourite craft that was eliminated last time, the CF2 Claimer, and um, the latest version of my Mania. My own attempt at a no-control surface craft and the Mania kind of gets picked apart quite easily. Ah uh, yeah, still more work to do, but uh, anyway. Nothing complicated about the format today. We are just going to continue the uh, the knockout tournament we started last time, starting with the semi-finals. So um, yeah, let's get going. Two examples of spiky, pointy goodness to kick things off then. We have Vulcan and his VFW1 Reaper, and that will be going up against Double Star's X27 Dragonfly. Let's, uh, let's get this one started. And the competition starts. Just sorry, I was just having to fiddle with that, um, the autopilot settings there, I was worried it wasn't going to start for a second and we were just going to start orbiting, but no, the competition does start in earnest. Missiles going flying back and forth. This fight has been an absolute pain in the ass. I have had to spend about an hour getting this set up. First of all, the VFW-1 is not an easy craft to get set up on the ground. It keeps bouncing everywhere and destroying its missiles. Um, yeah had problems taking off, as did the X-27 Dragonfly, to get a fight with all six craft in the air. Oh my god. Anyway, anyway, we're here now. I mean, damn you Vulcan and uh, Vulcan and Double Star, but uh, yeah, we're here. Missiles still going flying back and forth, still no kills. Uh, GT Kerman uh, heading a, yeah, a bit head on to some of those missiles, but it uh, doesn't seem any the worse for wear for it. He's well out of the action, actually, uh, GT Kerman, I think. Uh, yeah, the rest of them are sort of getting into within gun range, and oh my god, that sounded like an explosion. Something is something is blowing up. Something is blowing up. Got a joust going on. Ghosty Kerman loses his air intake and just gets blown out of the sky. Bardnard and Kerman trying to follow it up, laying gunfire into one of the other VFW-1 Reapers, turns around with some stunning control. GT Kermit is in a lot of trouble. The sound bug kicks in because, of course, it does. Just try to pull some evasive manoeuvres. Wow. Yeah. Was it worth the hour set up? I'm not sure. But the X-27 Dragonfly was... Yeah, that was amazing. It just... I just think what the, um... What the Reaper did, the, uh, the Dragonfly did better in that fight. So, yes. Anyway, let's finally move on to our second semi-final. So two slightly more conventional takeoff craft now. I've really got to put that in the rules at some point. Um, but yes, we have the Razor 2 by Dayuki and the Shoe 6 by uh, by Tomaz. The only craft not to win its group in the last part, but came through the quarterfinals nonetheless. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this one started. And our competition starts. Josh Kerman in the uh, in the Razor 2 gets around, gets his missiles away fairly quickly. Uh, the Shoe 6s, yeah, it looks like they have done the same. Both of these craft pretty manoeuvrable, relying um, mainly on the uh, mainly on the reaction wheels, which I think is kind of a developing theme here. I think, yeah, um, like with my early uh, my early Mania, if you rely too hard on the uh, too hard on the thrust vectoring, you're not really going to get. Uh, not really going to get too far. GT Kerman trying to uh, pump out a bunch of countermeasures to avoid the uh, the next incoming volley of missiles, which he seems to have done so pretty well. Uh, what are those? That's just random junk, random missiles. Random missiles just hanging in the air. GT Kerman still avoiding the missiles. It doesn't look like the, uh, the Shoe 6s have managed to get many of theirs away, and we're already in gun range, and one of the Shoe 6s has gone already. Yeah, I mean, uh, you'd have to just favour the Razor 7 based on what's gone before. But, uh, yeah. Gunfire coming in. GT Kerman takes some damage. Nothing fatal. GT Kerman is now in the last shoe six. Has the attention of three of the Razor 2s. The sound bug kicks in again. God damn it. Gunfire came in. Just a, just a strafing there. More gunfire. Loses some more bits. Still going. Still going. Still going. Not, not going anymore. Yeah, quite, 
quite definitely not going anymore. Um, so that the semi-finals out of the way, I was considering doing a a like a third place playoff, but that means I have to have to set up another fight with the VFW one. And um, I believe it was Aristotle who once said, "Ain't nobody got time for that." So we're just going to go straight to the final, the X twenty seven versus the uh, versus the Razor two. Let's um, let's get to it. There's a certain degree of inevitability about the two craft that are in this final. I mean, both craft have performed exceptionally well. Slightly different design philosophies. I think they both rely primarily on the reaction wheels. I think this one actually may be a little bit more on the engine gimbal as well. But this is sort of, um, as we saw the last fight, just turns in midair, gets its guns away and shoots you up. And the Razor 2, a little bit more like that, but a little bit more like a conventional craft, using those, um, those wing surfaces to generate lift. I... Yeah, I, I don't know how to call this one. I really do not know how to call this one. It's anybody's fight, I think. Let's um let's get it going. And so our little final starts. The razor's not that quickly around. I think maybe had to bleed off a little bit too much speed, but now do get their missiles away. Having to dodge the um the volley incoming from the dragonflies. Oh god, I have no idea how to call that. That was a bit of a weird, some sort of <laughs> rapid engine on and off from the uh, from Legged Lux uh, Razor 2. The X-27 Dragonflies, that missile came very close, but uh, Bardnan Kerman did manage to dodge it. Popping countermeasures, it looks like for the moment the X-27s are on the back foot with all the missiles coming in. I think they only have a limited supply of missiles themselves. That looks like that was close, yes. One of the X-27s having a bit of a hard time avoiding the missiles, but does manage to do so. Bard Nuncombe has a missile coming in. More countermeasures put paid to that. Yeah, the the Razors really are keeping the uh, Dragonflies on the back foot. But as I said, I think that might be... Oh no, they do have some missiles left. Bard Nuncombe gets a, uh, a quick volley away. It's a pretty good range to actually launch those Sidewinders. You do get some pretty good kills. Bard Nuncombe now might be able to come around, line up a shot and uh, deal some damage. Not so far, although his wingman getting some heavy damage on one of the razors. One of the razors has gone. Bard Nan Kerman. One of the other razors. Yes, some slight damage there. Nothing too terminal, but is a bit of a sitting duck at that very slow speed. Ion Kerman just has a barrage raked across the fuselage, losing so much stuff and is dead. I said I didn't know how to call call that, and um, when the uh, the dragonflies were sort of on the back foot with all those missiles, I was like, I think the um, I think the razors might take this one, but no, no, the dragonflies just with their ability to turn round and line up those guns just completely destroyed the razors. Wow. Anyway, yes. That is it. The uh, the X twenty two seven Dragonfly by Double Star is our little spring challenge champion, our no control surfaces champion. And yeah, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory, and uh, KSP community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description, as will be links to part one of the Spring Challenge, as well as links to the uh, the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little patron kerbal, like little Barton Arden Kerman here. Um, yes, I will be back soon with some more, uh, more BD Armory, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.